fans I thought I would do a couple more bear family videos one with single CDs that I only have like one or two of that artist uh, I'm not going to do several of my other singles by bear family because I might end up doing them in with a, with that actual artist if I do a video on my George Jones CDs I would include the bear family single that I have there or Billy Joe Shaver or whatever and David Allen Co they only released on singles of day of um a bear family only released David Allen Co on singles and I have all of those so I might do a video on that or on David Allen Co anyway um, let's get started I'm gonna just run through these and then maybe I'll do a second video where I play some of the oddball ones but all of them have samples I'm sure on um, bear family's website first one Sonny Burns the devil's disciple and you know I just don't know enough about these guys because I just I bought them I, I listened to them I liked them and that was that um, here's the way it's laid out the single I got the again this always a nice booklet and it's this booklet is uh, kind of glued down to the bottom of the inside there and they do a lot of them like this where are kind of backwards CD on the left booklet on the right and there's the songs by Sonny Burns on this one Okay, next is um, Joe Carson. These are all kind of hillbilly bop uh, type things, very country. This one's a little different because it's an actual uh, plastic jewel case and has quite a hefty little booklet there for, um, for one of these. Um, so I guess Joe Carson did, did a lot. Um, it's called Hillbilly Band from Mars. And just like the box sets, lots of nice pictures, lots of info. Um, yeah, there's Joe Carson. And again, a lot of these artists I really don't know much about, like I say. I kind of went on a Bear Family excursion when I found a store that sold a had a bunch of them for 10 or 11 bucks, which is pretty cheap for Bear Family. And I just went in there and listened and bought what I liked. And uh, some of them got more than one listen and some didn't. Tommy Collins of the Collins Kids, again, attached booklets attached there to the CD uh, I, don't, I don't know if he has if there's any Collins kid stuff on this this is their gonna shake the shack tonight um, series uh, just like shake the shack uh, like the old Seattle radio show on KXP Tibby Edwards play it cool a man play it cool <laughs> Uh, again, this is a hard uh, jewel case, and again, it's got uh, the booklet, and not as hefty as the Joe Carson, but nice booklet there, lots of info and pictures, and here are the songs for Tibby Edwards. And then we've got the Farmer Boys. This one I just found many years ago. I don't remember where, when, how, why. And I just thought these guys were great. There's another band I like a lot called Flathead. And they do at least one or two of these songs. They, I think they do Flash, Crash, and Thunder. And they might do some other Farmer Boys. And their Farmer Boys don't have a drummer or anything. They're kind of, um, they're pretty hillbilly-ish. Um, as I recall. But they're, they're, they're great. I really do. I remember I do like this one a lot. But uh, maybe in the second video I can play some samples of Farmer Boys, Flash Crash, and Thunder. George and Earl, Better Stop, Look, and Listen, another Gonna Shake the Shack Tonight series. And again, same CD on this side, booklet on this side, glued in to the um, actual Digipack case. Uh, George and Earl, another one that I just, you know, I've picked it out and I listened to it. I don't remember where I got this. Oh, I got it at the same place. Picked it out, listened to it, liked it, bought it. I cram a lot of these short country songs on there. Lefty Frizzell, now, of course, I know everybody knows Lefty, right? Uh, stepping out, he was quite a huge star around the same time as Hank Williams was a big star. Another jewel case one with a booklet, and I'm not definitely won't, don't want to play any Lefty Frizzell. You can hear him quite easily. Uh, all these guys you can probably look up on YouTube or somewhere online. And again, Bear Family has lots and lots and lots of samples. Okay, Hawkshaw Hawkins. 
That's another one you might have heard of, Car Hoppin' Mama. And there's the actual tracks on this one. Another pretty hefty booklet for a single CD. I think it was Hawkshaw Hawkins. Did he die in the plane crash with Patsy Cline? Maybe. I think he may have. Johnny Horton, Take Me Like I Am. I got a bunch of Johnny Horton, but the others are just kind of, well, they're collections like this. They're, um, they're both double CD collections. And this is a single CD Bear family collection, and I like him quite a bit. It's like Honky Tonk Man that Dwight Yoakam covered, and North to Alaska that Ted Hawkins covered, and some nice stuff on here. Um, yeah, he's a, just a great honky-tonk country guy. Johnny and Jack, uh, the Tennessee Mountain Boys with Kitty Wells at KWKH. Um, I remember just finding this and liking it. Um, a local record store in Baltimore at some point years and years ago when I still lived there. And uh, Johnny and Jack, I believe, I forget their last names, but they are the ones that were always backing up Kitty Wells. Um, she was married to one of them. I'm not sure which one. One of them might have died in the uh, plane crash, too. Heartbreaking Mama by Skeets McDonald, another from the Gonna Shake the Shack Tonight series. Hillbilly Bop, Country, Honky Tonk, that kind of thing. Pretty thick booklet. I've only got one other CD of his. It's Another oddball rarity collection from some label I'd never heard of, and then this um, nice Bear Family set. Alrighty, and Jim Silvers, this guy, uh, music making mama from uh, from Memphis. He's a Jewish honky tonk country singer. Um, it, it's he's uh, he does a song called. Um, Oh boy, it's when each season changes you. Everybody's done it. George Jones, and I think maybe with Tammy Wynette, and lots of other people have done this song, and I just absolutely love it. And that may be what got me turned on to him. And this was cheap enough to buy at the time when I uh, bought it, because and it was probably the only thing that really was comprehensive. He didn't do much stuff, as far as I know. This is about it. Um, but anything else I could find in him, I think, might have been like outrageously expensive because it's all out of print and he's so, you know, oddball. This is a Hank Snow disc um, from a box set, and I just found it probably at a record show or something years and years ago. Discs five and six from one of the singing, let's see, the, the, the uh, not the singing Brakeman, that's Jimmy Rogers, not the singing Cowboy, that's, um, uh, maybe it's the singing Cowboy, I forget. The singing Ranger, there it is, right there. Volume four. Um, 1969 to 1984, a lot of great stuff on this. 1984, so some of it's pretty modern and recent for, for Hank Snow. Now here's a Hank Snow, The Gold Rush is Over, and that's some of his more, you know, The Golden Rockets on here, I'm pretty sure, and The Gold Rush is Over, and another, wow, yeah, hefty book. But they did several of these for Hank Snow. I got one more where they um, did singles. I guess they took stuff out of the box sets. They were themed, too. One, I think they have a Hawaiian one. Um, this other one that I have is, this. oh, Snow South of the Border. So this is kind of some of his more Mexican-sounding stuff. Very, very nice stuff, kind of like El Paso, which I know is a Marty Robbins tune. But anyway, this was water damage and a half-price book, so they gave it to me for, I think it was three or four bucks. Yeah, it was four bucks. They might even giving me a little bit off because it was some water damage. Red Sobine, Juke Joint Johnny. He's another one that you may know already. I think he's one of these truck driving song guys too at some point, like uh, Red Simpson and Dave Dudley, kind of in that vein, but a little older, a little more uh, hillbilly, a little more raw. Um, just a couple of pictures there. And some Text, and then we got Win Stewart. He's another more well-known guy. And again, same format here, a booklet on the inside, attached. And then these are the songs for the Win Stewart collection. And Rock It Down to My House. This one, uh, Justin Tubb. I, you know, I kind of, I don't know why I got this. I liked some of it. Some of it's kind of rockabilly. Um, a lot of these guys were. Conway Twitty was a rock and roll rockabilly guy before he really hit it big in country, and so was George Jones. 
Um, this doesn't even have the booklet, that's why it was so cheap, out of print, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, rock it down to my house, Justin Todd. And Oni Wheeler, this, I don't know if this is the, the correct price for this, but that's why I got it. And I just, uh, I got it down in Tacoma at a record store when I just went down to check out record stores for the day. And, because uh, I'd never been down there to do that. And uh, I think, whenever I do that, I, I always bring my CD player and headphones. And I'm, so I probably listened to this and liked it. And I've listened to it once or twice. More hillbilly bop, country, honky tonk type stuff. Leona Williams, I heard her on, might have been on Modern, uh, on uh, Swinging Doors radio show out here on KEXP. Three CD set, Whoa. booklet on, this booklet I think comes out, yeah, this one comes out like so. There's the front, there's the back. She did a lot of stuff with Merle Haggard. Um, they, I don't know if they were an item, but... Um, that's what kind of turned me on to her and got me attracted to her. I might have heard her on that radio show. Um, I might have even heard her with like a duet with Merle Haggard. I'm pretty sure there's some Merle Haggard duets in here. Um, and uh, she's another one where the best way to get her stuff was just to do this. Otherwise, it was going to be crazy expensive. I think I got this on Amazon for relatively decent price. Um, there's the back of it. But uh, she's got that twang, and she's got a more honky-tonk, harder sound, like um, Loretta Lynn that I like. Uh, a little more modern than her, but... Farron Young, uh, everybody knows him, high-toned papa. And uh, he's the, want to live fast, die young, and leave a beautiful corpse or whatever. Whatever it's called. Live fast, die young, and beautiful memory. Is that it? Beautiful memory. I live fast. Uh, maybe maybe that's fair and young. I get. I mean, maybe that's Lefty Frizzell. I get. Oh, there it is. No, that's right. Live fast, love hard, die young. I get. Uh, for some reason, I get fair and young and Lefty Frizzell mixed up a little bit. I don't know why. But anyway, another country great. And that is it for my Bear Family single one-offs, except for the ones that are included with uh, a whole bunch of whatever artist. Okay, thanks so much. Please leave a comment or uh, hopefully check out these artists on Bear Family's website. Have a good day.